If you're wondering how to potty train a Maltese, you're in the right place to find out more. Like many small breeds, the Maltese is a little challenging to potty train. Actually, make that very challenging. But you must know about basic signs your Maltese needs to potty is abrupt changes in activity, behavior or play, circling, whining, going to the door, scratching or pawing at the door, returning to a previously soiled area in the house. So here is seven easy and working things to potty train your Maltese in just few days. Number one, use puppy pads. It is recommended to use puppy pads to potty train a Maltese. Their small bladder is not able to hold the urine for a long time. He won't wait to go outside. So, potty train your Maltese to use puppy pads. If you plan to train him to go outside later on, when he will be grown up, it is best to use real grass pads. Number two, set a schedule. As with puppies, potty training an adult dog should begin with developing a schedule that both you and your dog can follow and feeding two meals daily at around the same time each day. Adult dogs also naturally eliminate shortly after eating, so developing a consistent schedule of eating and potty breaks can avoid confusion and accidents in the house. Number three, use crate training to help with potty training. Crate training is very effective for Maltese. Like puppies, they do not like to eliminate where they sleep or eat, so they will avoid eliminating in a crate they have come to call home. The crate you use to train your dog should only have enough room for them to stand up, turn around, and lie down. While you are potty training, your dog should be crated during nap time and bedtime, and whenever your dog cannot be directly supervised. Never use the crate as a means of punishment. It is important to note that adult dogs may take more time to adjust to a crate. If your dog is showing signs of stress or anxiety with crate training, contact your veterinarian for other options. Number 4. Citing your Maltese puppy's playpen. Your pup's living area should be close to the most common area of your apartment, so it doesn't feel isolated. This avoids separation anxiety. Don't cite the playpen in an area that is uncomfortable or dangerous for the Maltese puppy, such as near a heater or direct sunlight. Ensure your Maltese playpen is well furnished with everything it would need to be comfortable. Things to equip your dog's playpen with include toys, beds, and beddings. Try not to have food and water on standby, as that will mitigate your ability to regulate your Maltese's feeding pattern. Your Maltese's playpen should have a door for easy access, among other benefits. Having an entry in the playpen, you have the option to leave the door open so that you can supervise, and the puppy is allowed to have some freedom. This allows your puppy to feel more at home in its space and more likely to enjoy spending time in there. Number 5. Use Positive Reinforcement Positive reinforcement isn't just for puppies. It's the key to successful potty training for any dog, including adults. Each time your Maltese eliminates outside, reward them with verbal praise, treats, or a favorite toy. Just as with puppies, positive reinforcement will teach your adult dog that they get rewarded for going to the bathroom outside. Give the reward immediately after your dog eliminates outside, so that your dog makes a positive association with that behavior. Number 6. Walk your dog on a leash instead of just letting them out in the yard. During potty training, you should always walk your adult dog on leash to the appropriate elimination area. This ensures you will be close by to reward their good behavior. After giving a positive reward, remember to play with your dog outside for a few minutes to avoid creating a negative connection between eliminating and returning inside. Number 7. Select a bathroom area for your Maltese. Maltese puppies can be trained to go to the bathroom indoors by using pee pads. Teaching them to go outside is often better and more successful. If you intend to try the indoor training, then you would need to use scented pads. These pads are specifically built to attract dogs to potty on them. The pads should not be placed too close to your Maltese's bed, but shouldn't be too far away from its playpen either. Choose a spot which is some distance away from the playpen as otherwise, the playpen will start to smell. The first thing you need to do if you decide to apply outdoor training is to choose the best location for your dog to potty. This is ideally an area that is accessible to your Maltese regardless of the weather and it should be at least 3 meters away from the door and other family areas like children's play equipment or a BBQ for health reasons. Consistency in your choice matters. Potty training is about creating repetition and a habit or routine of where they go when they need to go to the toilet. 
supervision is essential too, especially when they are younger and exploring. This avoids outdoor hazards.